Uh, in terms of, sorry, what do you mean doing it from my side? Are we, oh, are we at hello. go? <laughs> uh, hey. I think we're just going to start in the, hello, hello, how's it going? Pretty good, good man. <laughs> no, we're, we're frozen. <laughs> I just want to double check. You know, get, let, let me quickly double check on the other end, but um, welcome everyone that is watching um, live right now. Um, we just want to make sure that you guys are are seeing all of this uh, in its glory uh, in live. Um, but give me one quick second, but how was your weekend, your long weekend, Charles? Uh, it was, it's been great. Um, spent lots of time with the kids and, you know, got quite a number of stuff done in terms of work and business. So, you know, and, you know, awesome. in terms of what we're working on, you know, things are going quite well that way. Awesome. That sounds like a very uh, fun-filled and jam-packed <laughs> weekend. So long weekends, I guess you try to, sh you know, shut everything in as much as possible. Um, but yeah, Definitely. same thing as me. I'm sure uh, some of you know that uh, I recently became a dad. And if you haven't yeah. seen it, I think my, my eye bags are <laughs> showing. Well, I, you know, I was uh, going to help introduce that. Uh, <laughs> but I was <laughs> sure you wanted me to go there. I'd given that your first no, no, time, course. dad. And you know, all the, the, yep. the nuances that go along with that, right? Um, oh, yeah. Well, yes. Oh, yeah. So welcome to the club. I'm, welcome to the club. Thank you. Um, and I'm going to say so yes much. under here. <laughs> well, um, I've never known you prior to this, so you look great. Or you look the same. <laughs> um, uh, you know I what? Think you had parenthood, to, like, compare to you. Yeah, no, parenthood is, is, it's a different, it's a change in lifestyle, definitely. Um, sure. You know, but a lot of people don't talk about the lack of sleep in the early stages of course <laughs> of course no definitely when they when they when you can't reason with uh with the, the baby because they don't even know what they're doing yet so uh it's pretty entertaining though <laughs> so um but no that's awesome that's awesome great that um it was a great weekend for you uh here in edmonton it was kind of a dynamic uh, uh weather weather changing time it like you know, it was really cold, really warm, but that's just what Edmonton is. But I heard in Toronto, it got to like 30, 35 degrees or something last week. Uh, it got <laughs> fairly, it got up there. It got up there last week. Ooh. Temperature dropped uh, a bit um, in the last few days now. Yeah. Um, but okay, I mean, cool. today, is, today is pretty nice. It may go up to the 30s again with the humidity. Um, but you guys Ooh. had some snow the other day. Like, that's like crazy, Like a dump man. of snow. <laughs> that's ridiculous it was like what the heck you know but they're talking about how may is uh that month the reason it's called may is because it may snow uh <laughs> it may rain. it's so <laughs> random like people don't know okay. at least for edmonton like i've i've been here for like over 25 years and yeah it's definitely strange um mm -hmm. but no um just yeah wanting to to um keep everyone not only updated but uh we also want to share kind of what's exciting on our plates too um just to get people more excited um mm -hmm. i don't know how excited i can get people but uh, i'm always excited so i just want people to feel the same um charles and i definitely have uh have you know been working on um really cool concepts and initiatives that uh we believe can definitely assist people connect people um and then also build a community that um people can feel safe to grow in, I think, too, and share. Because um, I think um, that's what we want to keep creating mm -hmm. is a space, you know, that yeah. people can um, think uh, uh, think and grow and also um, kind of learn about what they've never seen before, too. Yeah. I think that's a really exciting part because you don't know what you don't know. And I think when someone touches on a point that you've never seen before, that's where true kind of innovation in your mind can happen. Mm -hmm, um, but yeah, mm -hmm. I'll let you share a bit more on, you know, or, or do a kind of a, a review of what we want to do with IBL and kind of what our new initiatives are coming up to. Um, uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, with with all that's happening with, um, you know, in the world, throughout the world with the pandemic and, you know, us being able to uh, share on this, virtual space because things have shut down i mean it's kind of started and stopped where events and tournaments are concerned in in the badminton world right um you know for us in canada we have not been able to restart um really or properly itself and ibl 
has, you know, kind of taken that back seat in terms of live events or in-person events, right? So we've been working quite a bit on our um, digital platform, which we're really excited to, to move forward with. Uh, still fine-tuning a few things, and Romy, you're working your expertise there, right? But, you know, with, with all of that being said, it, it has really given a lot of time to really think about what IBL is about, what, what we want for the sport here in, uh, in Canada and North America as a whole, right? And a lot of it tends to fall back on, on mindset and what really happens in the background of players, um, even coaches, right? Um, and just, just people developing throughout the sport. Um, you know, in terms of there's what happens on court is also what happens off court. And a lot of times, you know, you, you'll see it in documentaries in, in other sports, right? Where people are talking about, well, here is someone at the highest point of their career, but then it's looking at where they came from and the struggles that they had to go through and so forth. Mm -hmm. And whereas a lot of like get shined on that, right? I, I don't think there's enough attention that's really given to that where our sport is concerned, right? So from there, you know, Romy and I, we've been, you know, going back and forth on a lot of different concepts. And the big thing that we that really comes to mind is, is mindset, right? Mindset on the court, as well as off the court in terms of, you know, a lot of people look at, at, the accolades of what has happened and what have people yeah. achieved. But <laughs> exactly. all, quite often, people don't look at, you know, what you had to go through to get to that point. Yeah. People don't exactly. look at the struggles or, or, or they don't see yeah. it, right? It's not there. And yeah. it's usually what happens in the dark, so to speak, or behind yeah. closed yeah. doors, right? When you're going through injuries, when you're going through, you know, certain challenges, um, which could be financial, it could be physical, it could just even, well, in the times like now, access to training yeah. or, and part okay. of training is competition, right? Which <laughs> is one of the reasons that, that IBL exists. It's to provide that platform for people to have, um, or should I say, competitive um, competition or, or meaningful competition in a way to sharpen their skills, whether that be on a yeah. recreational level or a high performance national or even on Olympic level. You know, so yeah. from that, you know, spawned uh, what we're calling shuttler spirit. And we're really excited yeah. for that. So, you know, Romy, how about you touch on that in terms of, of what shuttler spirit is all about and what can we expect and, and see going from there? Awesome, awesome. No, thanks for sharing that, um, Charles. I think um, like what, what you touched on, on kind of the journey to the, the goal um, sometimes is not sold as it's not the shiny object, I guess, um, like the trophies or the medals and stuff. So I guess it's, it's maybe it feels like it's um, less marketable, but I definitely find that when people share their journey, that's kind of where the, the magic is. But mm -hmm. like with, with challenge and with kind of um, like pressure, I think that's where, you know, things can be created out that it becomes really like refined and, and awesome. And, and hence, you know, when I first, you know, talked to Charles about this idea, it was very much like, well, people appreciate it. But when I start hearing people sharing that, I'm, I get personally like super excited. I'm like, oh, this is yeah. amazing. You know, um, when we spoke uh, with certain athletes talking about their past, uh, talking about their challenges of, like you said, going through recovery uh, an injury and also uh, financial struggles, uh, even personal life struggles potentially yeah. that can affect um, the the career of uh, a professional athlete. Um, mm -hmm. I think that has uh, always been very interesting because all we see is kind of that uh, display in tournaments, and that's yeah. it. You know, let's yeah, say yeah, they did yeah. well. That's mm -hmm. awesome. That's great. That can keep furthering uh, their career. But let's yeah. say if they don't do well, you know, and, and not hit their goal, what happens after that? Yeah. Um, we tend to only see that highlight in... reel. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We always see as highlight reels, actually. I do like seeing highlight reels, but um, <laughs> let's say the boring points in between where people serve into the net or it's like, you know, their attack and it's done. We really don't <laughs> like seeing those anyways. Um, but yeah, jump. Yeah. Jumping on that, too. It's more how can we display and extract this type of mindset from these champions of, mm -hmm. of um 
not only I, I think badminton obviously is our focus, but them more as an athlete. You know, we yeah. know that they are very uh, like strong in their mindset naturally. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. They're very persistent in trying to keep uh, doing the monotonous and the fundamentals, making yeah. sure you know those are constantly set uh, so mm -hmm. that it becomes a reflex when they're on court. Um, we we don't see those things because it may seem boring. But mm -hmm. you know, doing clears for like three, three to five hundred clears, for example, yeah, to yeah, get yeah, a specific yeah. skill like set. Um, but all we see usually is you know when we go into recreation play or tournament play, it's all that setting up st strategic shots of like trying to win that specific rally, and mm -hmm. it's such a different perspective when we look at the other side of the journey. Um, mm -hmm. And then even to the micro side that you're sharing about, you know, what is the conversation between the athlete and the coach during tournaments too. Uh, we, we see a glimpse of that during like in, you know, intervals in 11, but we, we don't see it during the whole game, mm -hmm. but it actually happens during the whole game of like active coaching where oh. there is a conversation that happens um, between uh, the athlete and the coach and also the other team too. There is mm -hmm. kind of that constant contrast of people trying to win in strategy. Because yeah. all the athletes there, are, you know, are at a, a very high level already. It's who mm -hmm. can, um, you know, administer the the better kind of strategy yeah. to during that yeah. time specifically too, right? So, and again, mm -hmm. also different courts in different uh, countries. There's, you know, different wind settings, different crowds. Like those are all very um, interesting uh, conversation that people don't see unless you're there. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. you can only only see it from an athlete that has experience. You mm -hmm. know, the, the the different circuits, different um, series uh, of competition in the world. You know, yeah. let's say uh, someone like Michelle that we've we've spoken to before, and I've done a lot of lives with before. Uh, she would share with uh, with us about when she played in Malaysia versus in Singapore, uh, or you know, in in all England, like the crowd, the winds, um, their time, the time difference. That's yeah. all a big, uh, like the different factors that affect that athlete. But <laughs> all that being said, uh, Shuttler Spirit is there to extract this, you know, really. The subtleties. Um, yeah, the subtlety, but the richness, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. That is so, it, it's so uh, content rich that uh, I think it's an untapped kind of uh, uh, perspective. Mm -hmm. that I think definitely can add to people's spirit, you know, yeah. like it will nurture you as an individual, as a badminton player, um, mm -hmm. when you go on to court now, and let's say you do uh, meet that situation where you're, you're down 19, 20, you know, mm -hmm. how, how do these athletes approach something like that when it's like 19, 20, third game, for example, yeah. uh, and your right. partner is kind of down. Like if you're playing like doubles and how do you cheer each other up during that moment kind of a thing too. Yeah. So um, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to people um, being part of Shoulder Spirit. Uh, mm -hmm. We do have a website that is available now to yeah. um, capture some of your uh, attention, uh, ideally. Um, but our first guest uh, for this Sunday, May 30th is Tony Gunawan, which uh, I'm sure many of you know is a badminton legend uh, in, in the doubles world. I don't know if I've seen him play singles at all before, but I've only seen him play the whole time. I was gonna say, is he good at singles? I have, sure I have, I have when he's training. When he's training, oh, I've really? seen oh, him okay. do some, some two on one him? singles when he's the one. Oh, so, cool. Yeah, that's happened. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. But yeah, I've never thought of that. Maybe I'll ask one of those questions, but uh, really excited to um, kind of explore his mindset uh, towards how he deals with certain scenarios. Uh, we will do some uh, kind of rally reviews too uh, of the uh, different past uh, tournaments that he's been in, um, that he's won at or lost at. Um, we just kind of want to share the whole gamut and the dynamics of everything. And him as a person too, I think it's cool to know uh, who Tony is. I think that would mm -hmm. be an amazing thing that people can see too, because He's one of the most humble people I've met, not just in badminton, but just how he speaks. It's always a very nurturing and wanting to kind of further and build the, the game and sport of yeah. badminton. Um, he totally loves the sport. Right? You, can, mm -hmm. you can tell mm -hmm. from how he talks about it, mm -hmm. but he also wants people to experience, I think, that same joy 
um, yeah. that he had, right? So I don't know to his level uh, if we can ever <laughs> no one can really achieve that. There's only one in a few million, I think. But um, yeah. it's just cool to see someone willing to share uh, that information. So we'll we'll try to with Chandler Spirit, we'll try to keep preparing, um, you know, athletes that are are willing to kind of share their perspective um, mm -hmm. and their mindset mm -hmm. towards towards things. But um, in short, that is it. That is not really short. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, no, it, 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 it was short. It was short. I'm not to prolong yeah. it, but I think it, it's very interesting. You know, um, again, just that mindset behind how people one think, approach the sport, approach the game, approach even themselves when they get on yeah. court. And even yeah. more the dynamics in partnerships, because as you quite rightly pointed out, you don't, that's not talked about a whole lot. The little intricacies between partners, whether it's doubles yeah. or mixed, you know, the things that are said in between the rallies and so forth. And, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I think, you know, having, having, I guess, like Tony Gono on is so special, you know, to be our first guest on the show itself um because as you quite rightly said he's he's won most if not all of the major major events yep. out there yep. and he's gone through you know that that period of playing with different partners and um you know he is yep. that person that you know is like you know what you just do what you need to do do what you what <laughs> yeah, you will yeah. do and don't worry about the rest i'll take care of everything else right he's, yeah. he's that technique is that technician on Man. the court you know, and yeah, yeah. Um, it, it'd be, it's, it's a pleasure to have him on when we do uh, coming later this week. Yeah, and I think like, uh, to, to your point of that, you know, he'll handle the rest. Like he's, he's definitely a, a great uh, positive, positive enabler for other people, not just on court. I think he takes that same mentality off court of how can he support people too. I think mm -hmm. it's, it's a great parallel that, that you just showed there, but uh, definitely um, would love, we'll, we'll announce the time uh, quite shortly. We do have something we want to quickly share, which is, so this is um, kind of the, the hero image for the website. It is available right now and it is shuttlerspirit.com. Um, go check it out um, and sign up for an account and we can definitely add you to the list. Uh, and obviously feedback. Uh, is definitely welcome uh, in, in terms of either our site structure information that we're sharing that you're not getting, please let us know, or um, future athletes and people that you want to see. Um, yeah. Ideally, of course, I would eventually want to get to like Lee Chung Wei, Lin Dan, or even the, the current people of, uh, you know, like uh, Tai Tzu Ding, uh, Kento Momota, or Victor, Ax Victor Axelson, um, and, you know, all these different athletes around the world that uh, I'm sure we're few degrees away uh, but if we build a great community I think they will come and support us for sure so um, the other okay. one that uh, obviously you can see here with with Tony he's going to be our main one uh, our one of our favorite athletes and uh, obviously a colleague and a friend uh, Michelle uh, we'll definitely uh, have her on the show um, uh, as soon as we can um, and then HK uh, Hans Christian uh, who's um, also a, an amazing um, individual that's not only a great athlete but uh he also loves growing the sport and supporting the sport um mm -hmm. but yeah um looking forward to all of this and uh please join the facebook page uh it is on the website but just uh, type in shuttler spirit um you'll be able to join the page uh we'll start updating it with information and questions and um, certain interactive kind of posts that everyone can have a conversation with, but we do want to build that community. Uh, please also join us on Instagram. Uh, it's just at Shoulder Spirit. Um, and yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, advice, comments, uh, please do leave it under the post. Uh, we will be sharing this as many places as possible. Um, but no, Charles, I guess, do you have any last words? I won't take no, that, but. hey, hey, we said we're keeping it short. <laughs> I prolonged it and I went a bit more. No, you know, no, 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 let's not no, keep, keep rolling. Building. And um, no, we'll definitely yeah. look forward to, to speaking with you all and engaging you all. And um, yeah, we appreciate the support and look forward to building this out and having some really fantastic guests on that um, are able to share with you and you guys, you know, participating we welcome as as Rome said we welcome the feedback and um hopefully we'll even have some of you participating um with yeah. some of our special guests at some point exactly actually 
speaking on that, yes, we do want to look for about like five to 10 people that can join, join us on the show that has some, uh, has some questions uh, for Tony potentially, um, or just want to like chit chat and stuff. Cause we want to make this as relaxing as possible. Uh, but on another note, we keep prolonging this, but I just have to point <laughs> out that um, IBL definitely, uh, we, we have some pretty awesome stuff in the back end right now. Um, and and we we do want to create that digital platform for you guys. Not obviously not like playing badminton game in in the web on the website, but uh, things that we we can definitely improve you on. But we will have um, another live stream really soon uh, to talk about the initiatives on that and and how the IBL side is going to marry very well with the Shuttler Spirit side. You know yeah. that mind body and and combination. Um, but no, mm -hmm. thank you so much today. Uh, Charles, always appreciate your time, and uh, yeah, please uh, keep keep uh, keep playing on at least in your brain. So watch lots of games <laughs> online. <laughs> we'll talk soon. We'll talk soon. Okay. All right. Yeah. Take, take care. care. We'll talk soon. Bye.